Martin Luther King said, freedom is never voluntarily given by the oppressor. It must be demanded by the oppressed. In the same way, social justice will not be voluntarily given by the so-called upper class. It has to be demanded and fought for by the people who are oppressed. There is a movement and party in India which has continuously fought and stood up for the rights of the backward and oppressed communities of the country. The Dravidian Movement and DMK Party. The movement's contribution to the continuous struggle for social justice in all spheres is undeniable. To understand the contribution of the Dravidian movement towards achieving social justice, we will have to go back to its roots, the Justice Party. The party was originally formed for securing the education and employment rights of non brahmins in the then Madras Presidency. After being voted into power in 1920, the party took various measures to implement reservation for the well-being of the oppressed and depressed communities in the state. Due to the various efforts and measures taken by the Justice Party, the communal GEO, a first of its kind in the country, was passed and implemented in 1925, which gave representation to the backward and oppressed communities in matters of education and employment. Thus was born the affirmative action for the upliftment of backward classes in India. Therefore, the Dravidian movement is the pioneer of social engineering through reservation in India. When the constitution of India came into force in 1950, the communal geo which was already in vogue was under legal threat. The upper caste, using a legal loophole in the constitution, tried to demolish the rights of the backward class that the communal geo guaranteed. The court had held reservations to be unconstitutional in case of State of Madras versus Champa Ram Durai Raj. The people of Tamil Nadu rose up in a statewide protest against this act by the upper castes. Tandai Periyar played a vital role in this agitation and demanded for necessary amendments in the constitution to safeguard the reservations. Finally, after much sweat and blood, Nehru's government accepted the demand and enacted the first amendment to the constitution, which made the necessary provisions to safeguard affirmative action in favor of backward and scheduled castes and tribes. After this, the DMK and DK continuously raised their voices with steely resolve to implement reservations in union-level education institutions and government employment. Dr. Kalanyar, a five-time former chief minister and former president of the DMK party, was the key player in formation of the National Front in 1989, played an important role alongside his dear friend, then Prime Minister Thirui P. Singh, to implement the Mandal Commission's recommendations for reservations for other backward classes at All India level. Through incessant struggle, toil and efforts by the leaders of the Dravidian movement, we have ensured social justice for OBCs. Those who have for long tried to erode the social justice measures are now gathering behind a common weapon they call merit. One such face of this campaign against social justice is neat. At this crucial juncture, when forces across the country are attempting to undo decades of work to achieve social justice, Thiru M. K. Stalin, the leader of the DMK and the Dravidian movement and chief minister of Tamil Nadu has taken up the mantle to defend social justice. He has been simultaneously waging a political movement alongside the people, a democratic struggle through parliament and legal struggle through the courts. The DMK's treasurer and parliamentary party leader Thiru T. R. Balu was Stalin's voice in Parliament and a major force behind the attempt to assert OBC rights in a democratic way. P. Wilson, a senior advocate and member of Rajya Sabha, has consistently fought the battle in the courts in a manner that reflects Stalin's vision and has succeeded in the courts. Through the courts, 
that DMK has obtained for the entire country OBC reservations in state contributed seats in medical and dental courses in UG, PG and diploma courses. By fighting and obtaining this judgment, Stalin has healed Periyar's great wound. Ambedkar's idea of reservation for backward people was fulfilled by this verdict. With this verdict, Stalin has filled the shoes of the great late VP Singh in his era. With this judgment, Stalin has become a role model leader for the Indian subcontinent like Perarinir Anna. By this struggle, Stalin has well and truly taken over the mantle as the national leader for social justice like his leader and father, Dr. Kalanyar. In the second decade of the 21st century, M.K. Stalin has displaced the darkness that threatened to engulf the socially backward classes and has shined as a beacon of light that gives the people of backward communities hope.